Hey everyone, no respawns here. Hope you're having a grand week. So this is the new Helvetia set. So firstly, um, I happen to stumble across a rad storm, and I just can't say no to the rad storm. I just can't. Just, oh, they're so good. Yes, I could, you know, actually just start a world and make one happen there. But when they appear randomly, I just have to take advantage of it because they just make everything look so much cooler. So this is the Helvetia set. So it's kind of a reskin of the contemporary house set that. I think we've gotten, I was count like, we've gotten like four or five, oh, what's it doing? That's all right, it's fine, it means you get nice weather now. Um, we've got four or five uh, different sets of it. To be honest, initially I was going to tell you to not get this one by dint of the fact that it is it is literally just a different coloured reskin. It, it's just blue as opposed to all the others. However, as when we go in the inside, it does have a completely different wallpaper. And one of the issues with the contemporary set is the fact that the wallpaper is kind of shit and makes things look they're floating. But let's give you a bit of a tour first. Um, I'm right next to the Wayward, and I'll be honest, this guy was not hammering earlier. So, um... No, actually, I don't want to risk killing him just in case it causes something bad to happen in my game. So, sorry about the hammering. Anywho... So I really liked this build. Uh, I, what I like about this is I've taken this really nice little kind of Helvetia themed house and then just completely barricaded it. And I've gone a little bit more extreme than I normally do in terms of the actual barricading of the house. So my reasoning wa was that I, I play a lot of Project Zomboid, right? And in Project Zomboid, you have to barricade every single window. Otherwise, the zombies will get in while you're sleeping and it's going to be a whole thing and a complete pain in the ass. Anyone getting um, Sanctuary Fallout 4 flashbacks from this, I am so sorry. But also, you're going to suffer with me, so enjoy that. So yeah, I was like, all right, I'm going to make everything really barricaded because I wanted to take this really nice little house, well, ostensibly nice little house, and just completely just reinforce the entire thing. And that's what I've done. As contemporary sets go on the exterior, as you can see, it's kind of very much the same. It does have these nice little windows, which I do quite like. I'm not a big fan of the blue, but it's grown on me since I've barricaded it. When I was placing it down, I was just like, eh, the blue though. It, it's a bit too much, but now that I've actually kind of put it down and it kind of made it scaggy and, you know, post-apocalyptic, it started to grow on me. I do like these fences, so this came with a set as well. You may notice that this issue right here, if you try and curve them around, they are quite difficult to be to kind of get close to each other. I'm going to do more things with these fences at some point because I think there's a lot of potential there to make some kind of nice scrappy reinforced fences. But for now, I've got to keep them fairly vanilla. Um, and also, just because it's so cute, look at Bunny Rabbit. I made this little enclosure just for him. He's going to get out or probably get eaten by a feral ghoul, but he's so cute. The annoying thing is you can't have that and the... um. And the chickens, which mildly annoys me. Though he is, uh, it does look a lot better, I think. So as you can see, I've reinforced the entire side. I just took the normal contemporary house and just was like, right, I'm going to make this completely closed off. And I'm quite pleased with how it turned out. Let's give you cheeky reprobates a tour inside. Got the gates. So one thing, and I'll show you more over there, is that for whatever reason, I struggle to put stuff inside these little exterior areas, especially that side. It did that annoying bug where you place something down and it snaps above on the roof. Um, I don't know if it's just unique to this set, but I swear I haven't had it happen with the contemporary house sets. So I'm wondering if it is unique to this one. It might also be because of these walls I have here have caused it to get a little confused, but just as an FYI. So let me show you what I like about this is the wallpaper. Like, it, it's such a little thing, but it means that nothing floats. Well, I mean, no more than things normally float, you know what I mean? But, like, things don't hang off the wall by about, like, several inches, which is what happens to all the others. And it actually looks like it fits. To the point where I didn't even feel the need to get normal wallpaper on this. This looks quite nice. Um... I'm hoping, in fact, that maybe we get this as a wallpaper. I did sort of check where I was like, oh, well, they added it as a wallpaper. I didn't really realise, but um, to my knowledge, they haven't. I've still got quite a bit of build budget left. I didn't want to go overboard with this because um, I was, well, one, it's for a video, and two, because when I have these things, I tend to kind of add to them as I go um, post-video. But it's a nice little cosy area. I quite like it. I completely forgot I got this owl. I think I got in the last season, and he's so cool. I did this little flower area. 
He does turn around sometimes though, which mildly annoys me because I always feel like he's facing the wrong way. But I think he's looking outside with the beautiful view, which is a wall. So this area, I had a whole plan to turn this into a chem cooking area and I couldn't place anything down. Yes, I could have used the, uh, where you make a, basically a blueprint to paste things down, but it wasn't working 100%. I have a sneaking suspicion it might have been due to the fact that I put these walls in, which caused it to kind of bug out, but just as an FYI, I turned to this area instead. So it's a trading area, and um, if in doubt, just put loads of stash boxes down, because stash boxes are cool. So, yeah, this set, interesting. This video was meant up, meant to be up last week. You've still got a week left to buy it, I think. Uh, yeah, you've got a full week, in fact, so a week, a week Tuesday, um, while it's still available. If you already have one of the various reskins of this set, to be honest, unless you just really want it by pure FOMO, maybe skip it out. However, the wallpaper is good. Like, the wallpaper is good enough that it just kind of makes me go, ah. Um, you know, I, I really, really wish the others had this wallpaper. I don't think they will, actually, because I think the wallpaper is specifically styled to this kind of type of building. But it is quite nice. I also like the door as well. It's, it's just the whole thing's quite vibey. Nothing but respect. But also, it is a, it is another reskin of the contemporary house set, which has kind of been done to death. Um, I kind of like the style of this. This is quite cool. Oh, by the way, we're near the Wayward, as you know. Um, the one issue with this location, if you do want to build here, is if unless you have a private server, you are going to have a nightmare to actually play something down in this area. So just as a kind of, just keep that in mind. Um, but there are other flat areas. Also, um, and I was wondering if I point this out. Um, I've angled the whole thing completely wrong. <laughs> Look at it. It's completely off center. I wasn't even paying attention. I was like, yeah, that looks fine. And then when I got to literally, like, the last decorations, <laughs> that that really upsets me. <laughs> like, it's not even in line to one of the roads. It's just, I mean, you could say it's, I think I maybe lined up to this road here. But even though it's, oh, it's not, oh, it's not looking good, bro. It's not looking good. Um, and also, obviously, we've got noisy boy here. I'd like to state that he has literally not done that in the entire time I've been decorating this. He decided to just do that for this video. Anywho! So yeah, that's the uh, that's the uh, Halvisha reskin of the Contemporary Hell set. Um, as of um, if you're watching this video live, I am going to be doing a build on the Enclave set. I'm waiting until next week until my membership renews so I can use the atoms because I've only got like 500 atoms left and I don't want to spend money so it'll be next week um, and also it is kind of another reskin to be utterly frank however we do have some slightly new elements so I might be able to make something quite cool I'm probably going to merge it with the Brotherhood of Steel set so it might not be as unclavy as it could or maybe some anachronism of them both um, anywho so this is quite neat I like this this is alright I might actually see if I can use this style in a slightly less blue house in the future as always, follow me on Twitter at no respawns. I'm gonna have um, if those who are missing it, we've been doing a really big stream of Resident Evil 4, and I've been quite enjoying it. And this is sort of a launching point because I'm gonna be eventually dual, dual streaming to YouTube and Twitch because I really miss using Twitch, and Twitch is quite good. For, I know a lot of you use Twitch for your streaming, like you'll have it on while you're doing something else. Um, and I want to kind of, you know give you the option of YouTube or Twitch to use. Um, my plan is to basically have it so I have the chat window uh, on the screen. So it doesn't matter if you're chatting to me on Twitch or on YouTube, you can read my chat and you can, I'm gonna see if I can merge the chats as well. So that way, um, yeah, you can just talk to people who are on YouTube and I can you know, talk, talk to everyone, it should be grand. But that'll take a while for me to figure out. Um, also, I have a capture card now. I got the new, well, not the new, but the Elgato 4K capture card. So that means that most of my streams are now going to be on Xbox. Um, I'm actually going to get, I've got an S right now, but I am actually going to get an X at some point soon, um, which will be quite cool. I love PC, but God damn it, is it not temperamental? It's just nice to be able to just turn something on and not have to worry about all the nonsense. So yes, um, that'll open up many options. In fact, even the fact that I can stream Switch games, um... And also, I do have my cheeky Mega Drive. In fact, literally sitting in front of me right now, I have my HDMI adapter, uh, which I have to figure out how to get working. So maybe 
if you're really into it, I might stream some old school Mega Drive games and we can just get really drunk and you can watch me get very frustrated because those games are really hard. Started playing Shinobi, Revenge of Shinobi, and my god, Bloodboard ain't got nothing on that. Dark Souls games at all ain't got nothing on that. Anyway, I'm going to shut the fuck up. Uh, you guys enjoy the rest of the week. I'll speak to you lovely bunch soon. You take care.